a Quantum Leap sequel, oh boy. Welcome to Top Level Media News. Fans of Quantum Leap, the sci-fi TV series, can look forward to a sequel, followed by Dr. Sam Beckett, played by Scott Bakula, and his sidekick, Emerald Al Calavici, played by the late Dean Stockwell, as Sam jumped through time and helped others. A sequel pilot has been greenlit by NBC, with Scott Bakula rumored to return. It's been 30 years since Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. Now a new team has been assembled to restart the project in the hopes of understanding the mysterious behind the machine and the man who created it. The 93 finale told viewers that Sam never returned home. Maybe this new team can help bring him back. For other news, check out Top Level Media. So you know what that means. Ziggy. Fire up the accelerator chamber. I'm going in. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Well, I wanted to talk about Quantum Leap and the way uh, NBC is giving that green light for episodes to be made and for a kind of like a reboot, I think, to introduce Quantum Leap to new people and the older generation out there, fans go. And people are saying that it's going to be way different than um, before. Yes, it will be how Quantum Leap, the remake, is not going to have Scott Bakula in it. Well, I don't think that's true. Scott Bakula will be in it and producing on a part of it. And it won't be the same just because uh, we don't have Dean Stockwell in it as L. Well... I think that they're going to make some sort of tribute to Mr. Al Calvici, Dean Stockwell's character. That may be the case, but I think it's going to be in a good way different. And I think that they're going to do it in a way that uh, Sammy Joe, if you know that uh, Sam had a daughter in uh, Quantum Leap already, well, Sammy Joe grows up and wants to know about her dad, Sam Beckett. And so I want to know your opinions out there of what this is going to be. And, and I'm very excited for this. And I think Deborah Pratt, Don Bellasoro, and uh, producers are going to do an awesome job by delivering us some great stuff. I think it's going to be modern day to where um, Sam could um, do some true events to what happened, like as in we saw in Quantum Leap already, Elk J. Cadell, and of Lee Harvey Oswald. And not only that, it's going to be great to where a lot of things are happening. Let's get your opinion about it. I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, we should see new things. There can be some true events in there. And the serious ones, I don't think they'll put in there the way serious ones, such as COVID, how everybody's been affected by COVID. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Um, there'll be a lot of things that they can go into as far as Al and Beth go and what happened to Al, how Al died, passed away. Um, is Beth still alive? There's a lot to be said with this um, and it's very exciting. How many of you are excited out there? If you are a Quantum Leap fan, what was your favorite episode? Sam leaped into the comedian and it had Bob Saget in it. And um, if you go on Bob Saget's podcast on YouTube, you could hear Scott Bakula and you could also hear Bob Saget talking about that episode to where 
uh, one of the stunt guys landed on a knife and um, during that scene where uh, they were fighting in the kitchen and overall but it was a really 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 good episode and I think my second episode was when uh, Sam, you know, had to sacrifice for Al on the leap home, and so um, Al knew how it felt to take over for Sam, and they switch places after Shock Theory. So those are some of my favorite episodes. And this has been a Top Level Media. If you don't get the chance, please subscribe. I will see you soon. Let's go. Rest in peace, Dean Stockwell. Let's go. Thanks for watching everybody, have a good one.